Hello lads and lasses and welcome back to Call of Duty Vanguard Part 4. Before we get into it, if you do enjoy this video, do a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, link in the description. Oh, pardon me, let's go. You heard Stan has been keeping an eye over commercial this time. Okay. Sense. It's never far from the slaughter. Let's go. Oh, wait, but we should see who they are speaking with the families now. Sniper shot, precise. But you, you think they might be? Okay, there's more cover this way. Come on. That's nice that Misha was like, yeah, we need to find out who they are. Like, uh, I won't lie, I'm actually enjoying this. So, how will you kill Steiner? Lady Nightingale. I told you to stop calling me that. The name gives the survivors hope, Padilla. Hope won't win this war. Boy. No, but it will help. The followers of Lady Nightingale. Anyone who gives asylum to this terrorist will face the most severe fate. It's not good. Let's go up this way. You think the sniper could be one of Steiner's Jaeger models? We should be more careful. Polina, you hear that? Take a look. There, on the right. Steiner. Where is he going? He's driving towards the commercial district. You may be right about those Jaeger models, Misha. Let's move before we lose sight of him. Misha, be careful! Try drawing fire with my knife. Do what? Just trust me. Drawing fire. That's good. Done, yeah. This is pretty cool. It's not letting me draw fire anymore. Ready. I know it is. Well, there he is, I see him. That's very annoying. But yeah, like I said, I'm actually enjoying this campaign quite a bit. Um, The story is absolute dog drivel, but you know. Overall, it's pretty fun so far. Like I said, um, once I've done all of the Call of Duty campaign, so um, there is a video going up. Actually, I believe by the time you see this, it should be up um, of me ranking all the Call of Duty campaigns. Um, that is before I played them all, and that's like, or should I say, that's before I played them all and replayed most of them. So what the plan is, is probably a year from now, I'd, I'd, I'd reckon, once I've played through them off of the channel, because I do plan on playing through them all, um, I will be making an, an updated tier list, saying which campaigns I think are the most fun, and we'll go from there. And hopefully we can also rank this year's Call of Duty when it eventually is announced, which I really hope is an expansion for Modern Warfare 2, because I fucking love that game. I think it is absolute class. This PPSH is fucking shite. Yeah, how you guys doing? I know it's a bit of a late time in the series to ask. Oh, I'm dead! Misha! <coughs> I'm doing good. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty goddamn happy right now, so. Room for one sniper at Stalingrad. 
But it's also that thing, sorry, this is random, I was just... It's one of those things where you think about it in your head and then you're like, but wait, um... A lot, a lot of the time with these Call of Duties nowadays is... The campaigns are nowhere near long enough to justify the full, uh, well, £70 you pay for it now, which is kind of insane. I remember back in the day, you'd go out and you'd pay £40 and that's it. And oh my god, the day, th those were the days. But now it's like, you have to pay like almost double that and it's actually kind of insane. And I miss that. Like, I remember going into Tesco and seeing like, oh, I don't know, Halo Reach and the new Call of Duty of like £40 and then games would be no more expensive than £40. Like sometimes, very rarely, they'd be like forty-four ninety-nine. But very rarely would they go any higher than 40 and uh, I miss it, you know? I really do miss it. That's a grenade. I am dead. I did not. I tried to throw it back. I need to concentrate to try and get this done. This is, I'm talking too much, but... But yeah, I still think that games are way overpriced. I mean, I'll still pay for them because um, gaming, gaming and movies are my two ultimate passions in life. And they give me reasons to live. Um, alongside, uh, you know, other people, but you know what I mean. These are my two, my two biggest things in life, and if I didn't have these, then I honestly don't know where I'd be. But that's the thing. Sorry, I'm going on a really weird tangent right now, so I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna continue, and if I get, if it gets weird, I'll cut it, but... Um, and that's the thing, like, I feel like even if I didn't have this, I'd have something else, like, because I wouldn't know this existed. But it's weird, because I got into gaming... I'm pretty sure it was actually through my parents, although my dad is not that big of a gamer. Um, he did play a lot of the old stuff, and he, I'm, he played a lot of P PS1 stuff with me. He doesn't play anything now. The last thing he played was PS2, I believe, but... Um, my mum doesn't play games at all, but uh, I got into that a lot through them, and then a lot through my... Um, my cousins. I played a lot of Call of Duty at theirs, and then I got my 360 Movies! I've always liked movies. But I properly got into movies probably like, what, 2013, 2014, probably. And then I've been an absolute just rabid fan ever since, so. Okay, oh. Well, that's another l a fucking oversight. They completely forgot to add in the armor, like, symbol when you shoot. Pick Wolfenstein. Where? Oh, hi. Ah, oh, suck my. I swear to God, if I start back at that truck checkpoint. Yeah, thank God. Need help, Misha. Got him. Only room for one sniper in Stalingrad. In Stalingrad. Ooh, Lewis gun. But yeah, that was a random history that probably no one will see because this game is absolute just mid as fuck. But you guys will. Well, for those of you who do, for, for like the one person who does watch this, hi, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I make these videos because I like to document a lot of this, like my reactions to playthroughs and stuff. But then I also make them to the one person that's like me, where they like to watch these random people play through stuff, like. I watch, I don't know if you guys have heard of a channel called Sour. Um, I, uh, the reason I actually started doing these Call of Duty playthroughs is because he does, um, or he's in the process of doing, at the time of recording, he is in the process of uh, going through a bunch of different Call of Duty games. Like, like, he's doing all the Call of Duty games on Veteran in like massive videos. His latest one was Finest Hour. But I've watched all of his stuff and I just find him so entertaining. I love the fact that he does that. So he's a big inspiration for my Call of Duty stuff, so thank you, um, Sour, for that, if you're watching this, which I highly doubt you are, but I love your channel, man. Keep it up. Um, but yeah. Sorry, that was a very... I don't talk a lot during these videos, but that was a, a very big exception. Because I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. All the sponsors for these come from an episode of Vanguard. It's me 
means we're getting close. Let's keep moving now. Steiner's vehicle. I can't shoot him while he's in there. Let's try to get closer. I can't wait to put a bullet through Steiner's head. We can't strike from here. There's too many of them. Take a look. Shit. There he is. Steiner. There, on the right. Bastard. He might be Steiner's superior. Sniper, get down! <laughs> ah! R.I.P. Misha. You're not going to die here. Rip Misha. Always in my heart. Gone, but not forgotten. <clears throat> well, you will be forgotten once I stop playing this. Steady your breathing. This campaign on Veteran overall wasn't that hard. It was literally just a battle of Midway that was just an absolute bullshit lottery. Hold on to me. Stay with me, Misha. I've got you, Misha. Don't worry, my friend. My my brother, sorry, my friend. Yeah, I was waiting for that to happen. Misha! Stop. Don't let him take Stalin. This knife isn't going to get us out of here. Look, we need to finish. Please, for all of us. No, you're delirious. Come on, we have to move. Valina, go! No! You cover the opening. I go out and flank them. There is no time. Go. Bedeis. I will slow them now. Don't choke. Me too. Don't go. I assume that means, like, I love you, I know, etc. I'm proud of you. Smooth transition or a cutscene. Bum ba dum ba dum bum bum. I just realized you guys won't be seeing this for fucking ages. Like, it literally just occurred to me that you guys probably won't see this for like a year. But. Hi, from 2023 dating this series by saying that, but you guys can see it in the bottom right when I, whenever I pause it around an episode or start an episode, so it doesn't really matter. But yes, how is it going? Hopefully I've ranked all the Call of Duties by now. Or the video will be coming shortly after the series, I'd imagine. But I've been playing a lot of these back-to-back -back recently. So I'm going to take a break, and then after this, it's right back to the start. Call of Duty 1 and, and then I'm going to work my way through um, the ones I've not done yet. So 1, 2, 3. You guys have always seen these by this time, but 1, 2, 3. World at War. Uh, 
Ghosts, Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare. Infinite Warfare, World War Two. Little Turd. Ah oh yes, this level was a fucking pain in the arse on Veteran. Oh no, I think it was because there was an achievement for doing this without being seen. Which was an equally painful and p painful experience. I feel like it's going to be better to just kill them all, like, shooty shooty. Snake is snake. No, I didn't ask for that. No, I didn't ask for that either. This thing has very good recoil. Huh. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna take them out. There's no point. Running, 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 running. Taking that. Even though we didn't have red dot sights. But y but you guys know the memes. God damn. I actually can't imagine that at work that ha that like <sighs> yeah, I will say one thing. I imagine construction businesses were like I, I say business, it was probably just, you know, everyone chipped in, but I imagine construction was booming for decades, for like for like at least a decade after the war. My god. Like, this amount of destruction actually, like, kind of stresses me out in terms of the thought of rebuilding it. Oh, god. What a fucking waste, honestly. I'm gonna stop getting... Whoa, hello, I forgot about you. What? This breaks, obviously. Yep. What? Oh no, the achievement was to get up behind him and assassinate him. Moving. Lady Nightingale. Sugon. Oh, fuck me.
Fuck. Dirty bitch. What was that? Uh, I don't know about that, bud. Lady Nightingale. Sorry, it's just funny. Ah! Oh God! Everyone showed up. What? Bruh. Nighting Gill. The way he says it is funny. Ow. Bouncy shit, where is he? Oh, I see him. Get capped. Hiding in here. Yeah, this one took a while on veteran. We do actually have all the achievements out of this one. Where are we at? Good. You're alone, old man. All your fancy troops gone, and you're next. RIP rifle. Sure about that. Well, obviously, I don't kill him. Do you wish to kill me, Molina? Well, yeah. Where is he? 
I got to put both headphones in for this. You bested at all, but you have not faced me yet. I know all about you, Paulina. <laughs> Russian bitch! <laughs> One of these. I don't typically like these things. Oh, come on, I got behind him. Fuck off. You're just as foolish as I thought. Poor little nurse girl, wanting to defend her home. Did daddy teach you how to shoot a gun? Or maybe brother? Fuck! Jesus! Bitch. Can't see anything. Your precious Stalingrad is nothing to be proud of. It deserves to be in ruins. A pathetic city with pathetic. I actually hate this. I just want to get past this. Come on. Suck a fat one. OK. 
Come on. Where's he going? Where is he? Fuck you! Thank God that's over. Running won't save you. You've already lost. You fucking Nazis. We'll all die here in Stalingrad. You took everything from me. Now it's my turn. Oof. <coughs> you won't find satisfaction in this. It won't end with me. We'll destroy you all. You won't be doing anything. That's me. All you've left me is this knife. I could help you. Uh huh. Incredible. You're all the same. I've killed more of you than I can count. And you all spout the same. Pathetic bullshit. Rising. Is he supposed to scare me? Another piece of fascist filth. Don't worry. I'll hunt him down next. Oh. You thought you'd take my city and crush my people. You tried to break me, but you failed. You created Lady Nightingale. And now? She's destroyed you. The infamous Lady Nightingale brought Stalingrad back from the brink. Her actions inspired the Russians to take back their city and go on the offensive. Polina changed the course of the war for the Allies and her people. With that reputation, it was only a matter of time before we found her. Oh yeah. What would Freisinger want with a lowly officer on the Eastern Front? What does it matter? It matters. A great deal oh, to someone's insecure. Nice lighter. From what I could gather. Freisinger was recruiting Steiner for some special project.
Project Phoenix. Could be. All I know is... I was sent to kill Reisinger. There's got to be a better way out of here. There is no way out of here. Unless, of course... You have decided to do the intelligent thing. I'll kill you. Open that door back up, and I'll show you the intelligent thing. You can get me out alive? What? I can. <laughs> you two-faced bastard. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. <laughs> Typical Aussie. No honor, no loyalty. In your crusade, Tommy. I hope your plan was worth it. Oh yeah, it was. Don't worry. It's all part of it, you dumb idiot. Fucking twat, honestly. Break a leg, Vickers. I thought you'd be the one to put an end to your team's foolish agenda. Killing each other now, are ya? Zuluk! Zuluk! Uh oh. and the Brits. We were the pieces of shit flushed down the crown's dunny. Yes, yes, of course, but your nations are allies. Hey, it was more like master servant. Yeah. I did what I did because to every Brit, folks like me are expendable. Sorry, I, didn't, I just realized I had the fan on that whole time. I hope it doesn't come up in the recording, but... Insubordinate. Churlish. No stranger to a prison cell. That's Lucas. You had to credit the SOE. They were very good at spotting talent in the unlikeliest of places. And Lucas had talent. He was a skilled demolitionist with an explosive temperament and a sharp tongue. Out there in the desert, the rats of Tobruk were like a family. Unfortunately, they never did figure out how to get along with the brass. Today, princess? I'm savoring the moment. Oh, I'm so sorry. Of course you are, your highness. Hey, Bluey, wake up. You're going to want to see this one. Oh, fuck me. Play the damn cards. <laughs> All right, Des. Read them and wait. Fucking donkey, no way! Why the bloody hell aren't you at your post? Uh, Major Hams, we thought... You thought you'd muck around. Major, convoy's approaching. Right. You rats, follow me. I'll try and act like real soldiers for once. Uh. Oh, God. Uh, yes, sir. No, sir, Chief. See? That's what a real soldier looks like. <laughs> what? Oh, what a way to stand up to him, Bluey. Job, buddy. Fuck off, Des. What are you even doing here in the first place, huh? He's a major. He can do whatever he wants. You're lucky. I was about to make the comeback. Shut up, Des. You've never beat me at anything. What? Ah, oh, mate, pull the other one. Fucking twat. The explosives are ready. Lucas and I set them ourselves. Sir, man your position. The 
timing must be perfect. I need you all to focus. You got eyes on them? Oh, clear to hold the path. Hang on now. What's that in the loop? Oh, sorry. Be quiet. Ah, ah, ah. I'll do the honors. Thank you. Yep. Sir. Mark is that first rock. Yes, I know. That's a tank. <laughs> Germans have tanks, Private. No, but the armor's too thick. We didn't pack for a tank. Bloody hell. Hit the treads. It's the only way you're going to stop I, it. I, I need to focus. No, 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 sir, wait for the treads. No, no, wait! <laughs> Sorry, I kind of had to. Come on. Excuse me. Smoke. Sir, there's still one truck down the ridge. Well, then take some rest and get after them, Jacob. Let's go. No good for sniffing around the dirt. Fucking twat, honestly. And when you're done, walk your ass and crack the camp. Are you serious? That'll take all fucking night. Let's go, Private. Told you they didn't get far. Honestly, I just fucking cap him. Idea, 
neither of us give a fuck about your rank. We all know about you, Jacobs. Quiet. Do you hear that? Who's he shouting to? This way. Being very tactical with this. Bang. officers check through here to visit a camp up the way. I don't know what kind, I don't recognize these symbols. Then we go take a look. The Krauts just lit up the sky, more could be coming. No, we return to base, report to the Major. We can't report a thing if we don't know what it is. That wouldn't be good soldiering, Jacobs. Fine. We'll scope it out. Let's tread quietly this time. Whatever you say, fucking dick twat. Right, what now then? Right, so I'm expected to leave then.
Yeah, no, you keep saying that, Daz. Shared a sip from his fancy flask? Well, there should be plenty to go around. He's a bloody lightweight. If I ever get my hands on that wanker's flask, it's my shout, Daz. Hang on. There's a light up ahead. Well, Daz, de Daz definitely dies. I would suspect. Looks like we found the German camp. Hams probably doesn't die. Because, of course, he fucking doesn't. I'm trying to, but Des is in the fucking way. Probably out looking for us, I reckon. <clears throat> Hold on, what's all this? Look at this. I think the chap on the left is right. Mr. Fancy Bugger. Seriously? We're gathering intelligence. Something you obviously lack. Right. Hilarious. You sort your papers. You know what I see? I see a ton of shit outside that goes boom. Now, what do you suppose we should do about that? Uh, well, we should blow it the fuck up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I like it. Ammo dump just ahead. Gas depot on the right. Just ask it to be lit up. Running. Bro, this thing's shite. Gotta run! Go, go, go! Beautiful, Lucas! I just got the tank and armory to go! Keep pushing! Enemy reinforcement! He's got a shot! Trucks inbound! Play that to the tent! Find the dead person! Line up those trucks! Struggling a bit with the ammo, but... I don't trust him to follow me inside.
Running. That score kind of slaps, I won't lie. Clear out, clear out. Clear crowd. I already did that. Blow it. Boom. Fuck me, that was glorious, Lucas. Wait, you guys hear that? Where is it? Come on. Back you come. Hit that donkey now while he's still searching for us. You hit him, but he ain't down yet. Keep on him, Lucas. I'm trying. Shit. We got crowds coming up the road. Bro, this thing is shite. Of course it is. Australian private and a group of rats had given Rommel a huge black eye. Their action should have earned them medals and maybe even a shred of respect. Pams didn't see it that way. Their reward was some time in the brig. 
However, all Richter seemed to care about was Rommel and his connection to Freisinger. That fool would listen to Lucas as long as we needed him to. Twat. What was the rest? We had very little time. Tell me, what did Freisinger want with Rommel? I thought you wanted to know about our team. Answer me now or our deal is off. Okay, okay. Don't get your undies in a twist. Lucas parted on like a champ. He didn't have to tell Richter anything more than the lies that Nazi already told himself. That was the Third Reich for you. Their reality was delusion. Yep. You'd think we'd need a miracle for Lucas to pull this off. The thing is, he was like a magnet for that kind of luck. There's that saying about lightning striking twice. Yet Lucas had managed to find himself first at Tobruk and then at El Alamein. The world knew of an Allied victory in North Africa. But it wasn't because of British commanders or mighty tanks. Lucas had the untold story. And Richter was eating it up. And I'm going to leave this one here. Um, there's only two missions left, so that so the next part will be the finale. But yeah, this has been okay so far. It's it's decent. But yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you do enjoy this, remember to like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.